What a difference a year makes. Following our election losses in 2006 and 2008, you know, most Republicans were still pretty sure about our principles, but we were a little uncertain about the future, weren't we? I mean, a year ago, it seemed like only a remnant of the people in this country were unbowed by the glamour and the appeal of the new American left. We were under this unconquerable juggernaut of one-party liberal government in Washington, D.C. I mean, Barack Obama had a 120% approval rating, according to MSNBC. No, no, seriously, though. Seriously, his approval rating was over 65% in all 57 states. Unprecedented Democrat majorities in both houses and unchallenged liberal dominance in the media, our courts, our public schools, our universities. It's extraordinary. It was a force that frankly seemed indomitable to everybody but you. I mean, look at what we've done. Historic elections for Republicans in Virginia, in New Jersey, in the state formerly known as Taxachusetts, as a Republican member of the United States Senate. Look at what you've done. I mean, as we say uh, south of Highway 40, where I come from, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> and you know what? Your enthusiasm for freedom and limited government's been contagious. It's been catching on. Even Republicans in Congress are returning to their commitment of fiscal discipline and reform. Cool. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Three years ago, Republicans in Congress didn't just lose their majority, they lost their way. When I oppose No Child Left Behind, when I oppose the Medicare prescription drug bill, when I oppose the Wall Street bailout, I knew that if we kept acting like big government liberals, the American people were eventually going to go with the professionals. And that's just what they did. Truth is, our party walked away from the principles that minted our national governing majority, and the American people walked away from us. But after a year that saw every single House Republican vote against that failed stimulus bill, every single House Republican vote against that budget-busting budget, and every single House Republican vote against that government takeover of health care, let me tell you here in the South, Republicans are back in the fight, and they're back in the fight on the right. <laughs> 